This is Nuts and Bolts speed training with your keyboard shortcuts for navigating the Slide Master, Notes Master, and some other hidden views in PowerPoint that not a lot of people know about, which are useful for quickly navigating through your presentation. And here in PowerPoint, let's first look at jumping to the Slide Master view. And the keyboard shortcut we're going to use is used in combination with this command, the normal view here at the bottom of our screen. Now, normally when you use this, this is not the keyboard shortcut yet. You just click this once. You jump to the outline view of your presentation, click it a second time, you come back to the normal view. Well, if you use the shift key with this normal view command, so hold the shift key and click it, notice that you immediately jump to the slide master view of your presentation. So this is where you set all of the default formatting for your template. You insert your placeholders, all that good stuff. So that's just holding the shift key and clicking the normal view. If I click it again, I come back to the normal view. So that's navigating to the slide master view. Now let's look at navigating to the handout master view. And to do that, we're gonna use the slide sorter command at the bottom of our screen. Now, if you just click this once, you jump to the 20,000 foot perspective of your slide deck where you can move your slides around within your presentation, etc. Click it again and you come back to the normal view. Now to jump to the handout slide master view, you simply hold the shift key and select the slide sorter view. Holding shift, select the slide sorter view. And you jump to the handout master, which is where you wanna format and customize the handouts for your presentation. Now to get back to the normal view, you can either click the close master view at the top, which will bring you back to the normal view, or if I holding shift, select the slide sorter view, I can select the slide sorter view once, twice, and come back to the normal view of my presentation. So that's navigating to the handout master. Now another shift shortcut that you can use with either the reading pane or the slideshow view is the setup slideshow dialog box. So holding shift, I'll select the reading view. Notice I get the setup slideshow dialog box, which is where you'll choose to show your presentation as a resizable window so that you can fit two presentations together. You can loop your presentations, run custom slideshows, etc. You can close this dialog box by hitting escape. You can also holding shift, select the slideshow, which will open up this same setup slideshow dialog box and I'll hit escape. Now, a couple other keyboard shortcuts worth noting with these commands at the bottom of your screen are the control and shift key. So holding the control and shift key and selecting the normal view. We'll close the thumbnail view there on the left, which gives you more workspace that you can work with for your presentation. To get back to the normal view, simply click the normal view. You can also see the outline view in full screen by holding the control and shift key and selecting the slide sorter view. So control shift slide sorter view. Notice that you get a full screen of your outline, which is good if you have a lot of material in your presentation to work with. You can get back to the normal view again by selecting the normal view which brings you back to the first slide. And one other interesting shortcut in PowerPoint 2013, if you hold the Alt key in PowerPoint 2007 and 2010, hold the Control key. Holding the Alt key and selecting the slideshow view will run a mini presentation in the upper left-hand corner of your deck. When you hit Escape, you'll actually move to that slide. I hit Escape, you can say move to the slide. Again, holding the Alt key in PowerPoint 2013 or the Control key in a previous version will run a mini screen or a mini slideshow up there in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. So those are your bonus keyboard shortcuts you can use in combination with the commands at the bottom of your PowerPoint workspace to quickly navigate your presentation that not a lot of people know about. To grab a PDF of all of these awesome shortcuts plus over 100 more, look for the link beneath this video.